Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the Weira Ratchet and Screwdriver. It looks like on the box it is a seven piece. So if you turn it over right here, it talks about some of the stuff being done in Germany. And then at the very bottom, it says made in the Czech Republic. How does it compare to one of my favorites, the Milwaukee? We're going to find out in just a minute. So let's take this thing out of the box. Enjoy, you are a tool rebel. If you buy this brand, you are a tool rebel. Okay, maybe I am, maybe I'm not. But it does look like quality, it's a nice box, it's a nice presentation case. I do appreciate that, but even more, I appreciate a quality build product. The grip handle itself is very comfortable. On here, you have the adjustments to, they say, turn it to the left by this big middle piece here. So then, oh, they were right. So it's exact opposite of what the Milwaukee is as far as when you turn it to the right, it turns to the right and this one will turn to the left. So that's worth noting, it's the opposite. And when you go to the right, which is going left, on the middle section here. Now you can turn to the right. It does sound like and feel like quality as you're using it. I think the resistance going backward into the clicks is a little easier possibly than the Milwaukee, but not by much. Yeah. I'm not so sure. I thought it would be, but uh, if it is, it's not by much. Anyway, probably good enough for any normal person to be using it at, at home as a DIY ratcheting screwdriver. I would think this isn't a problem. This thing is gonna be about $48. Uh, retail price on it is close to 70. Um, you can find them on anybody's uh, links to try to get it into Amazon for about 48 bucks. So if you're interested in that, I'll ask my son if he can put a link down here for you underneath this video and see if we can get the Weira ratcheting screwdriver to you for about $48 through Amazon. That's how I bought this one. Again, retail customers on these tools, guys, bought a whole lot as we were going in. So it looks like it's got about a quarter inch driver on it. Okay, we press right here at the top and it just pops open. So that's cool. I like it that it just pops open. So then, oh, so they're the little ones. Just the little guys on this one. So that's another big difference. You just pull them out. They come out fairly easily. Six, and that looks like it. Pushing it down, locks it in place, so again. On this, you do have to press pretty hard, but that probably prevents it from being activated accidentally because you have to press it in to get it to open. So anyway, this thing is not too difficult to operate when you're changing it from direction to direction and the middle direction would be locked in place. Let's see how the uh, magnets work. Pretty good, started to put it on there and it's locked in place. So you've got a pretty long screwdriver here, so you'll be able to get some good torque on it. Got what, Phillips nine, number one, Phillips number two, a couple of straights, a number one and a number two. So yeah, the magnet works well and um, I mean, it works so well that it's a little bit difficult taking them out, which is good. Because my biggest thing is I don't want them falling out. So if you're working on like uh, deck screws or something like that, you can have that. So overall guys, I think it's quality. If you like the style, you like the color, you know, there's a lot of different things you might like about this particular ratcheting screwdriver. It is lighter with these um, smaller bits, right? Um, as opposed to, you know, these are heavy. 
for the Milwaukee. The Milwaukee's seem to be coated in chrome, where these are just like normal ones. So I don't know if you've ever had bits that have been left out in the weather or exposed to the weather or whatever. You may have some rusting problems on those, where these are going to be a little bit more protected with the chrome finish. But when you put all this stuff together, you are going to be looking at a little bit of a heavier screwdriver with the Milwaukee ratcheting screwdriver, as opposed to the Wira. I haven't put these back in before, so... So there you go. I don't have them on a scale, but I would say that this is at least 20 to 25% lighter than the Milwaukee with its bigger bits. The Milwaukee also costs half as much, less than half. That completes this video, guys. If you like the Wira, you like products that are conceived over in Germany and uh, maybe built in the Czech Republic, that's fine. $80 retail is really bad. It's, it's kind of high, in my opinion. If you can get it for $48, which is what I did, then I think it's, uh, it's doable at that. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel here on the Legion of Tools, and we'll see you guys on the next video.